Good morning, I'm President Stephen Leith. Tomorrow, Iowa State joins all of America in making what many consider the most important decision facing our country. The 2016 presidential election has arguably one, been one of the most contentious, emotional, and intense elections in history. It's ripped open deep societal wounds and ignited fierce debate in our country. Throughout the presidential campaign, the First Amendment, including freedom of speech, religion, and press, has been both exercised to its fullest extent and challenged to its core. Here at Iowa State, we recognize the First Amendment as an essential principle of education. Freedom of expression is critical to a vibrant, dynamic, and diverse learning environment. But while it's our legal obligation as a public institution to uphold the First Amendment, it's our human responsibility to condemn free expression when it is hateful, racist, bigoted, or discriminatory. The posters found on our campus two weeks ago may be factually described as white heritage posters rather than white supremacy posters because they do not legally violate the First Amendment. However, as human beings, we recognize those posters as hateful, racist, and bigoted. The message they explicitly and implicitly conveyed defy everything we worked for at Iowa State to create an environment where everyone feels welcome, included, and valued. I'm repulsed by the actions of the individual or group responsible. For many people, including me, the posters evoke feelings of anger or disgust. But for others, the posters also generate a real fear for their safety and well-being. Please hear me when I say this. Anyone who feels that their race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, religion, or political views makes them superior to others is encouraged to find another institution that better aligns with those values. Iowa State is not the place for you. As Iowa Staters, we must prevail over racism, discrimination, and bigotry by opening our minds and hearts to each other. We know our campus is far from perfect, but we can improve if we commit ourselves to the principles of the Iowa State community. Commit to treating each other with respect, purpose, and cooperation. Value the richness of diversity. Work together against discrimination and honestly and respectfully express your ideas. Tomorrow we will decide who will lead our country for the next four years. I urge you to vote and make your voice heard. I also want you to know that every single one of you is important. You matter, your safety and well-being matters, and you are a valued member of the Cyclone family. We are here for you to help you be successful in any way we can. So go vote and go Cyclones.